Yeah. There's a reason I'm in a prison shirt. And I'm about to explain why in a little bit. But before I do, I want to show you a little something behind me. Yep. I got the crane poster behind me now, and I now got the crane 2 poster behind me now. It's right behind that blanket, but... But anyway, yeah. Two new posters now, guys. That's awesome. So... So why am I in a prison shirt? Because I just reviewed two movies as part of the worst franchise ever. And now I have to review the final installment, which is set in a prison. Yes. Reviewing the third and thank God, final Human Centipede film. And let's say, it is the worst horror movie of the 2010s. I really have to do this. No, I don't want to do it. No. Ah, fine, I'll review the movie. I really don't want to do this. So what is the movie about? Well, like the first, like with the previous sequel, it's a movie within a movie. This time, the Human Centipede 1 and Human Centipede 2 are movies within this film. This time, this time set on a brutal, deranged, obnoxious jackass prison warden named Bill Boss. He basically knows no limits or laws when it comes to maintaining discipline in his prison and carrying out sadistic urges and basically acting like a complete idiotic man-child. No, really, all he does is act like a complete moron after going crazy in the halls for no reason, yelling and screaming at the camera, actually is kind of a bit funny. Funny just because of what a complete idiot, idiotic character he is. Then, influenced by watching the disgusting human centipede movies, his sidekick Dwight, who is played by Martin from the second movie, and Bill Boss, by the way, guys, is played by the doctor from the first film. So in a way, the villains of the first two movies are technically meeting up together. Suggests that he create a human centipede out of the prisoners. It will cut their food costs. Yeah, that's literally the plot of a whole, this time, a centipede of a bunch of prisoners. Which is kind of stupid. Actually, really, really, really stupid. I'm just going to get to why this is so this is the absolute worst film in the whole series. And it's the worst horror movie of the 2010s. Yes, worse than Megan is Missing. I'd rather watch Megan is Missing over this garbage. Why it sucks. The same it has the same exact premise as the previous two films, suing a bunch of people mouth to butt. Which if you know, I'm trying to one-up the previous films. It's got literally nothing new to offer. And much like Human Centipede 2, there's an excessive amounts of violence and sexual content with no purpose. Except, it's not as disgusting as the second one this time around, thankfully. But it's still disgusting in general. And compared to the previous two films, at least they tried to shock their audiences and tried to be horror films. There is no real shock value here, and it feels more like a comedy than a horror film. And they basically just tried to go the Army of Darkness route, like anybody would find crap like this funny. This is not even funny. It's just sick. And except for a few gore scenes, there's not even anything horrifying. Everyone gives such... such everyone in this movie has some of the worst acting ever. The acting was so much worse than the first film. Like, if you guys hated all the acting in the first film, wait till you see the acting in this. Dieter Lazar, like, Dieter Lazar's overacting 
acting all obnoxious gets so annoying after a while. And seriously, it's like, this feels like, it's like if Adam Sandler tried to make a horror film before Uncut Gems, and this is how it would turn out. Stupid and excessively racist dialogue the whole time, and there's this one female character, who's a secretary, who often gets treated like crap for no reason. Yeah, the two leads widely treat her like crap the most of the time. Time and she's just too stupid just to quit them. <sighs> the movie is just boring and takes a while to get anywhere. And there's literally no human centipede in this movie, guys. No human centipede. The only t when it does appear, it's the very final shot of the movie is when it finally appears. Yeah, so in short, this shouldn't even be called Human Centipede 3. This should be called this... I have no idea. It should be called, but definitely not Human Centipede 3 because it's not even a Human Centipede movie. It barely has anything to do with the first two like at all. The second one at least had something to do with the first one, but was still disgusting and a terrible movie. This is just... This is a shittier than the second two. Me first two. Ugh. Yeah, it's even worse when you know that Tom Six literally made a cameo of himself giving an autograph for these films. Like... My recommendation. Avoid this movie like the plague. It is the film that has pissed me off the most. So far this year, of all the older films I've had to watch, this is the one that infuriated me the most. It was so boring to watch. I was just waiting for this movie to be done. Like, this movie just drags on forever and ever. The first two films are, like, over around 88 minutes. This is over 100 minutes long. Like, like I want to see this junk for over 100 minutes. Like... Third, like, this movie is disgusting, it's obnoxious, it's irritating, it's infuriating, and like I've said before, it's boring. So, how would I rank this stupid as hell movie? Well, here is how I would rank it. I am going to... The Human Centipede 3... A damn zero out of ten. <sighs> I need to breathe for a minute, guys. I got so much fury to process right now. So much. But, if there's one thing to come out of this review, I am finally done this series! I can finally watch a good series this time. Yes, I'm going to be reviewing actually good horror movie next or a good movie next, one that is not disgusting and cancer, something that's actually good, something that does not suck. Yeah, no offense to people who like this series, but it's going to be a way more sane series this time that I'm doing next. Something I actually enjoy watching. But, all in all, I have no idea what's going to be next, but... I don't care. I'm just glad I'm finally done this series. I finally got my review for the third from out of the way. And I don't have to think of this series again. But, all in all, guys, thank, that'll be it for this video. I mean, review. Thank you all for watching. And if you like this and want to see more, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Movie Lover 120.